Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the Scan Tool Network. In this video, we're going to be looking at the top five scan tools for Mazda, Honda and Mitsubishi vehicles in 2022 and 2023. I've just realized I said top five. It's actually going to be top four in this particular video. Um, I'm going to put links to these kits in the description below this video. Please make sure to use those links if you are interested in any of these tools because there are fakes, there are clones on the market, uh, but using the links below the description will take you to the genuine and official products okay um, at the end of the video I hopefully you'll have a better idea about which of these tools may well be best for your specific needs your circumstances and of course your budget as well so we'll start with the cheapest and work our way up to the most expensive and at the end of the video I'll tell you which of these tools I would personally choose if it was my vehicle and my money so this is the iCarsoft MHM version 1.0 tool um, this tool is going to allow you to diagnose and reset all of the main systems in your vehicle. So let's say, for example, you've got a check engine light, um, an ABS, an airbag light, transmission fault. Um, it will diagnose and reset the fault codes and warning lights for those particular systems. It'll also work on other systems within the vehicle, depending on what's installed to the vehicle. So those can be systems like power steering, air suspension, central locking, HVAC systems, etc. Now the 1.0 tool will also allow you to diagnose, uh, or sorry, should I say reset, the oil service message, the interval or the maintenance message that you get when a service is due on the car. So if you do need to reset those, maybe you've done a service or you've, you're going to give it to uh, somebody to do the service but you want to do the reset yourself then this tool will actually do that for you you get free lifetime updates with this tool as well okay so this is the moving on to the iCarsoft JP version 2.0 this has the same this well this does everything that this tool will do but it also has additional functionality as well so it does cost a little bit more because it has additional functionality but those additional functions will include uh, DPF regeneration, electronic park and brake calibration and reset, electronic throttle calibration, steering angle sensor calibration, new battery registration, injector coding and brake bleeding. Now one thing I do need to stress is that it does really depend on your specific vehicle as to whether a certain function will work on a specific vehicle. So if you're unsure or you want ultimate clarification, I'll put an email address in the description below this video. Please use that email address. Contact um, the guys there and they will tell you, give you a vehicle information, what function you're looking to carry out and they will tell you whether this tool is going to be suitable or not. It always, inc it always helps to include the VIN number if possible. Okay, so that is the JP version 2.0. You'll also get free lifetime updates with this. We then move on to the iCarsoft CR Pro Kit. Now, previously with these two tools, I mean, this will cover... Mazda, Mitsubishi and Honda. This will cover Mazda, Mitsubishi and Honda and other Japanese vehicles, so the likes of Nissan, Subaru, uh, Toyota, Lexus as well. If you were, say for example, wanting to cover your Nissan, uh, sorry, your Mazda, Honda, Mitsubishi vehicle, but you also had like a European manufacturer in your family or your friends uh, group as well. So say for example, like a Mercedes, BMW, VW, Audi, etc. Uh, this is where this tool will come in. This is the iCarsoft Cigar Pro Kit. This tool does everything that these two kits will do, but obviously it covers a greater range of manufacturers. So again, you will pay a little bit more for it. It's been a great seller for a few years now, and it does give you free lifetime updates as well. So this has been a really, really popular option, and uh, they go through these like hotcakes, uh, simply because they, they, they really do work and they are fantastic package for anybody who wants to cover more than one car they've got one eye on the future as well um, that was until the iCarsoft CR Max came along now this is still obviously a good tool but this goes one better than the CR Pro kit the CR Max as you can see is a tablet based kit um, it has an internal battery um, this is good this will cover everything that these tools will do but it does additional functions additional service functions like actuation tests suspension calibrations and uh, other adaptions as well engine adaptions transmission adaptions etc so you do pay a bit more for this as well but i can't stress enough how good this tool is uh, for the price you'll pay for the uh, the level of diagnostics you get out of this machine for the price you pay uh, it's it's nothing short of uh, phenomenal the the rival to this tool the Yortel MK808 kit that tool costs about 150 pounds more and also with the Yortel tool you have to pay yearly updates of 130 pounds well this tool once you've paid for the tool itself 
You don't pay any lifetime updates. It's completely free to update the tool for the rest of the tool or the rest of your life, um, whichever comes first. <laughs> hopefully it's, um, well, I hope you have a long life. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> um, so yeah, so out of all of these tools though, which one would I choose if it was my personal uh, vehicle or my personal circumstance? Well, that's the problem because my circumstance is going to be different to everybody else's and everybody else's is different to everybody else's. Everyone has their own unique set of circumstances, whether it's budget, whether it's vehicle coverage, etc. So what I'd say is that the easiest thing to look at this is if all you want to do is maybe reset an airbag light or an ABS or a check engine light and you're not really interested in other diagnostics, maybe you're going to sell the vehicle soon enough or whatever, then you need not look any further than the MHM version 1.0 kit. This is a great, great tool. It's the cheapest of them all and it will do the job depending on what you need. If you wanted the best tool for your particular vehicle with a few more um, functions, then go for the JP version 2.0. Um, if you wanted the best, absolute best tool that is available for the DIY market um, and you wanted to cover other, other manufacturers and other vehicles as well, then go for the CR Max kit. I would have previously mentioned this one, and this is still good for that particular uh, circumstance. Um, but this does cost less than this as well, so it all really depends on your budget. If, you can, if your budget can stretch to this one, then definitely go for this one. If not, this one will be just as good as this tool here, but for all manufacturers. So hopefully you've got some information there that will um, be suitable for you and allow you to sort of make a, a decision based on what I've said as to which tool of these is, is suitable for you and your needs, uh, hopefully in any case. But guys, if you are interested in any of these tools, you want to take a closer look, please use the links in the description below. Like I say, that will take you to the genuine and official products because fakes and clones are out there. They can damage your vehicle and it's not worth getting into. Um, it would it would end up being a lot more expensive if something was to break. And the tools generally don't work like they should as well. Uh, so that's the uh, the top four diagnostic tools for Mazda, Honda and Mitsubishi vehicles. I hope you found it helpful. Um, and that's it from me. Thanks for watching.